Okay, determining if something is acidic or basic or neutral. Okay, let's do the, co the concept first. I'll, I'll do here on the left side. Let's say you have, and what we're going to give you is ionic species. Okay, so you'll get ionic species like, I'll just say XY. Whatever it is. Okay, it doesn't matter. That really the easy way to do this, and I'll show you an example in a second, is just to look at it separately as its ions, x plus and y minus. Okay, whatever those ions are. And what you've got to determine, there's really going to be four cases. Either, so case one, x is neutral and y is neutral. Well, if they're both neutral, the overall molecule is going to be neutral. Is that okay? The second case is that X is acidic. And I'll tell you how we figure that out in a second. But X is acidic and Y is neutral. Well, an acid plus a neutral is acidic. Because the neutral does nothing, has no power as far as the acidity or basicity. Well, then... X could be neutral, or Y could be basic. In that case, it's basic. By the way, things with a plus charge, I mentioned this earlier in the class, in this chapter, or the previous chapter, things with a plus charge are either are going to be acidic. Okay, so when we see a cation, we're either thinking neutral or acidic. We're not thinking basic here. Is that okay? Things with a minus charge, we're either thinking uh, we usually think base, because minus means base. Remember, uh, Lewis base is electron pair donor. Well, that's where the minus charge comes from. It has that electron pair to donate. So we're thinking base or neutral, not acidic for Y. Okay? Uh, so just things to keep in mind. You will, with rare exception, find things that don't fit in that category. Not for this problem, but you might find something as a negative that could be acidic, for example. Okay, in the last case, X is acidic, B is, uh, the Y is basic. In that case, uh, it takes a little more work, but it is possible to determine if it's acidic or basic. It could be acidic or basic in that case, depending on is this more acidic or is this more basic, and who wins. Would that ever be neutral? Like, if they're exactly... That's true, too. There is a couple... I don't know if uh, did it in class, but if they're exactly equal, okay. uh, and there's a classic example of it, then uh, it would be neutral. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, yeah, you have no idea in that case. So, you're hoping you get one of the first three, because then it's a no-brainer. If it's number four, you have to do some math to figure this one out. It'd be okay? a salt, right? What's that? It'd be like a salt, right? Yeah, neutral, we're calling salts. Yeah. In fact, we, even uh, in most cases, if it's slightly acidic or slightly basic, we'll still call it a salt. It's so actually, uh, we're usually going to call this a salt. Mm -hmm. uh, salt is anything ionic, really. Okay, so let's try some examples on page 689. Uh, let's try this one. So I have a certain method we're going to go through to solve these. N-A-I. Okay, there's one of them. Start with that. That's a nice one to warm up with. What you do is say, well, here's a cation and anion. Okay? Separate that first. You want to evaluate them individually. So then you go, well, I'm comparing sodium and I'm comparing iodine. Okay? Uh... Now, looking at these, you might not be able to tell what it is. So that's why I encourage people, in this level here, we're going to write another level, I encourage you to write down the conjugate. Because it's easier when you look at the conjugate to figure the other one out. So, if it's a cation, to make the conjugate, you put an OH, in most cases. If it's an anion, like I minus, to make the conjugate, you put an H on front. Is that okay? 
I just made the conjugate. Base is, you know, if it could be an acid, you make it a base by adding no H. I'll underline that. If it could be a base, you make it an acid by adding the H. Okay? Now here's where knowing that table really, really helps. Is that a, what is this? Strong, strong. strong base. So I'll label that uh, here in red. So what's, what's the conjugate of a strong base? Weak acid. No, there's the tricky part. If it is a strong base, the conjugate is neutral. So that's the key point you have to remember. If it's a strong acid, the conjugate is neutral. If it's a strong base, the conjugate is neutral. If it's anything else, any one of the weaks, the conjugate, you're right. If it's a weak acid, the conjugate is a weak base. So you got to get the difference here. So this is, what is I want to know if it's a strong or a weak acid. Yeah, it's one of your strong acids. So label that strong acid. So the conjugate is neutral. neutral. So walk over here. We're in case one. Neutral plus a neutral is neutral. The original compound was a neutral. Do you see how that works? So that's that's a nice warm up. Let's try some of these other ones. See how they look. Uh, the next one. Let's try this NaNO2 on page 689. This looks like a good one. NaNO2. Same thing. Sodium plus an, a nitrite. So let's separate, write, just write them separately. Sodium plus and a nitrite. There's the ions. We want to see which case does it fall into. So this one we just did, NaOH. We had an OH, and you already told me, oh, this is a strong base. So again, this one is neutral. And I'll give you a little hint if you look at your periodic table. Anything in the first two columns you're going to consider neutral, in alkalis or alkali earths, because their bases are strong bases. OK, over here. You add an H. This is a new one for us. Now you have to tell me, what is this? We know it, if anything, it's an acid. Nitrate. And it's strong or weak? Yes, yeah, weak. How do you know? It's not on that table. Okay? <laughs> so I'll just label it uh, oops, A for acid. It's a weak acid. So I'll just write an A. The conjugate of a weak acid, is it neutral? Weak base. Yeah, it's a base. It's a weak base. Does that make sense? If it's not on the table, the conjugate is not neutral. It's, it's the opposite. If this is an acid, the conjugate's a base, and vice versa. So, neutral plus a base. Oh, we're in case three. It's a base. So this compound's actually basic. Does that kind of make sense? 